Hello, dear friends. It's time to make a prediction for one of the most interesting fights in the lightweight division, world champion Devin Haney and former lightweight undisputed champion, who has not lost a single fight, will face knockout artist and Instagram star Ryan Garcia. Sit back and let's go. Devin Haney, a successful amateur, a contender for a trip to the 2016 Olympic Games, decided to turn pro because he couldn't qualify for the Olympics due to his age. For the same reason he was forced to box only in Mexico for a while, was the world champion among the youth. The increase in the level of opposition took place only in 2018, took the IBF USBA, IBF North America, WBO Intercontinental, WBC International titles, broached the title holder in the status of mandatory challenger, took the interim belt, adopting Tsar Abdullayev. But he never got a fight with the champion Vasyl Lomachenko, the latter traded his full-fledged WBC belt for a franchise one, and Devon was promoted to the title of world champion without a fight. Defenses were held against recognizable, but past career peak fighters Yuriorkis Gamboa, Jorge Linares, Joseph Diaz. In 2022, he beat all-time belt holder George Cambosos twice in a row in unification. In 2023, defended the undisputed title in a competitive fight with Lomachenko before deciding to move up 138 Pondas in December, took the WBC title away from two-time world champion Regis Prograis, Ryan Garcia amateur boxing star. In the pros since 2016, just like Haney started his career in Mexico. In the United States, signed with Oscar de la Hoya Golden Boy, he has won the NABF Junior, NABF, and WBO NABO titles. Garcia's breakthrough came in 2018 to 2019 after he took turns knocking out stalwart Jose Lopez, Romero Duno, and Francisco Fonseca in the opening rounds. Likewise, Haney fought for the interim WBC title, knocking out Olympic champion Luke Campbell in 2021 and taking the belt, but then lost without a fight disappeared from boxing for a long time due to injury and mental problems. Since 2022, he has been boxing in the super lightweight division, in the asset of victories over Javier Fortuna and Oscar Duarte, in the passive defeat to the star Gervonta Davis. The upcoming fight is the first in Ryan's career for a full championship belt. We remember that the fighters know each other very well. On amateurs met six times, the score 3-3. Haney is an outfighter counter-attacker fighter. He prefers chess boxing tactical confrontation at long range, unhurried pace, low density. The champion has great footwork, the highest boxing IQ, good timing and reaction. He is one of the best defensive fighters in the world, very good at power grappling. Garcia is a puncher counterpuncher, chic timing and hand speed, excellent punching power. But there are tactical and mental problems, tactical holes in defense, predictability and pattern in attack, mental inability to follow a fight plan, inappropriate and risky improvisations in the ring. All this time, Ryan acted like he wasn't even preparing for the fight. Garcia was suspected of drug and alcohol addiction. He himself claims it's a way to promote the fight. But bookmakers he did not convince do not believe in the chances of the challenger. Let's assume that both will come out well prepared for the fight. We know what to expect from Haney distance control, jabs, movement, counterattacks, clinches and infighting. As for Garcia, he has strong punches from both hands, has a very cool left lateral, but throws himself into risky unprepared attacks, although he should take advantage of superior anthropometry. Garcia is a physically gifted boxer, fast and strong, but he lacks intelligence in the ring, is unable to adapt to changes during the fight, and mentally often burns out. Garcia has to let his fists do the work. His job is to find his range. He needs body kicks, combinations and good clinch work. The problem is that Ryan is not very good here. Extremely ineffective jab, robotic predictable actions, inability to cut the corners of the ring, use feints and body work when shortening the distance. Haney is the clear favorite in this fight. In my opinion, he has better distance control, better footwork, and is better at evading his opponent's attacks. Garcia certainly has a chance to be a puncher, especially since Haney has already been hit, but you can't beat Haney with a single punch and Ryan isn't very good at combinations. So a sure win for Devin Haney on points, that's the way I see it, and you can tell me what you see in the comments. Thank you for your attention, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.